I've always loved poetry, and growing up, one of my all-time favorites was The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. I want to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. This poem upon first glance is about a man walking in the woods trying to decide which path to take, but it's really about so much more than that. I'm going to try and recite it for you. I may miss up a word or two, but uh, please forgive me. But it goes something like this. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler long I stood. And I looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then I took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had worn them really about the same. They both underlay equally that morning, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, but knowing how way leads unto way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. You see, that poem is really about every major decision we make in life. We stand at the crossroads, and we try to decide which is the right way to go. But the most important decision you and I will ever make in our lives is whether we're going to follow the Lord or we're going to try to live our lives our own way. There is a story about uh, Baal, the gods, uh, the, the god Baal, and uh, their followers. There were 450 priests of Baal, and there were 400 priests of a god named Asherah. So Elijah asked King Ahab to gather all the people together because he was tired of some of the people following the Lord, some of the people saying, no, we've got to follow, follow Baal. And he said, we're going to decide this. So he had the prophets of Baal prepare a sacrifice on an altar, and he prepared his. Well, the prophets of Baal prayed all day long to, to Baal, and nothing happened. The, the uh, sacrifice was not burned. There wasn't even a flame or a spark. And then when it was Elijah's turn, he soaked everything in water three times. He put a moat of water around the altar, and then he prayed to God, and fire came down from heaven and burned up all of the water, all of the soil, all of the, the stones and the altar and everything, and it was obvious whose God was true. And in verse 21 of 1 Kings 18, Elijah went before the people and said, How long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. So who are you going to follow? The right choice is Jesus. He will never let you down. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and I'll talk to you next time.